Well, I had a pleasant stay in London. Everything was above my expectations. Uh, the food and the accommodations as well, everything was on top. Uh, we had lectures every day by the professors from Cambridge and also Oxford universities. The lectures we had uh, were under the following topics. I won't go into details, I'll just mention the topics. Stem cells, the energy trilemma, the power of curiosity, the engineering, principle nanocarbon, electronics, obesity and uh, genetics, determine uh, decision making and deep brain stimulation, alternate uses of DNA, animal stone textbooks. We also had visits as well. We went to London bus sightseeing tour, uh, London Isle, of which that's the most famous place in London, Stonehenge and Salisbury, tell, uh, visits to Hampton Court Palace where Queen Elizabeth stays, uh, Tower to London, Tower of London, State Room Buckingham Palace. We also had the International Cabaret. It was a cultural showcase performance of different countries. The traditional home of which it was where we shared the world costume, costumes and fashions as well. Now looking at the science expo as a whole from the regionals, nationals to the internationals. Uh, what I have learned or that I could regard as the experience that I had is you shouldn't be old in order to enter for the science expo or build up huge machines in order to be to enter for the science expo. You just have to look at the fundamental uh, challenges that are faced by the community and make use of them and try by all means to make our, our community a better place to be. That's all the science expo is about, finding the solution to the challenges that, uh, that we are facing. And last but not least, I would like to acknowledge all the participants of the 2015 Science Expo uh, for carrying on with the legacy. And also would like to wish the four learners who are going through the next round of which it will be the nationals. And I would like to tell them that it's all about confidence and knowing your story. Thank you.